Poor heavens on the go. Tuesday, February 13th, 2024. Topic. When God beckons on you. Memory verse. 1 Samuel 3, 4. That the Lord called Samuel. And he answered, Here am I. Bible reading. Matthew 11. 28 to 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The message. From today's Bible reading, we see that when God beckons on you, it is an invitation to rest. There is a difference between hard labor and other types of work. God expects you to work. 2 Thessalonians 3.10 says that if you don't work, you are not to eat. However, laborers, especially those who labor at many jobs, work from sunrise to sundown. At the end of the day, they earn just enough money to keep body and soul together. I decree that you will no longer struggle before you eat in Jesus' name. One of the reasons you are reading this now is because God beckoned on you. When he beckons, he is saying, destiny is calling you. In Exodus 3, 1 to 10, Moses was at the backside of the desert when he suddenly saw a bush that was burning but was not consumed. He said, I will turn aside and see. That was a beckoning. And by the time he responded, God told him that his days of staying in the wilderness were over and it was now time to fulfill his destiny. In Mark 3, 13 to 15, Jesus went to the top of a mountain and beckoned to those he desired and they came unto him. Those people, except Judas Iscariot, later became the apostles we know today. The first thing you are to do when he beckons is to take up his yoke. In other words, make his desire your concern and pursue the things he pursues. When you think of the greatest thing that God pursues, it is souls. If you really want to fulfill your destiny, you will take up the yoke of winning souls and you will begin to see how he arranges things for you to fulfill your destiny. My major pursuit was to become the youngest vice chancellor in Africa, but God beckoned on me and I took up his yoke of winning souls. That is how I got to fulfill my destiny and now vice chancellors call me daddy. You have no idea what your true destiny is until you start winning souls and doing the work of God. Just in case you think soul winning is only for evangelists and pastors, please study Matthew 28, 19 to 20 carefully. All followers of Jesus Christ are commissioned to make disciples of all the nations, and this includes you. Prayer point. Father, like David, let the zeal of your house consume me so I can fulfill my destiny. Father, like David, let the zeal of your house consume me so I can fulfill my destiny in Jesus' name. Bible reading in one year, Numbers 14 to 15. Hymn for today, Pass me not, O gentle Savior. 
The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.